Hello everybody, this is Xenocat823543, welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. And we've just gotten Magnum Charge from this guy. This is, I had to fight him several more times off screen. One of the times actually he knocked Fiora off with over tentacle whatever it is. Some level. But yeah. And so basically I had to fight him with just Ryan and Ricky. Fortunately they both have a lot of enough HP that it didn't go too badly. Let's see. Fiora and Ryan are, by the way, are now done with Affinity, so that's nice. Looks like I know what my party is going to be now. Ryan and Shulk in the same party. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thanked it? With Ricky, of course. Actually, how do I want to arrange them? No, they're good as they are. Assuming tantrum can work. Uh. The elevator was over here. After I get the bronze wood, let's keep going to Reconnaissance Field. We need to get through this place. And yes, I know there are three more unique monsters in this area. This area alone. Oh, it's daytime. Ew. Sorry. And this time the switch is over here. Let's go up to the next level. And we have another story quest, opening the bulkhead. And so, let's just keep going. And we get to climb. At least we're making our way further through the Conus Field. That's a plus. Yay, another energy aubergine. I need more of those. Oh, I should use the art books. I suppose that would be a good idea. The other art books you can drop are Second Gear and Heat Bullet, both of which I've already gotten from enemies, by chance. Oh yeah, those are my extra art books, yeah. Ma Magnum Charge and Spear Blade are the two that you want to get from that guy. Metal Blast, Healing Energy, don't care about either of those, because I already have them. And those are going to be sold at some point. I don't really care when, because they're barely anything, and I have room. And really, I just need to make sure my art book inventory doesn't fill up, which it will never fill up. Unless you go grinding for... Unless you're trying to fill it up, you won't fill it up. And even then, it takes a while. Like, you better have some serious patience if you're going to be filling up your art book inventory. Either that, or you just never bother to learn any of the art books you buy, ever. Or anything. So, we're over here now. We made it to the Lower Bulkhead Bridge. Lower Bulkhead Bridge, a landmark. I'm gonna go this way just to grab the item orbs, because I'm not selfish. I think the Scarlet Crawler might be new. Let's see. Yes, the Scar Scarlet Crawler is new, and it's the last collectible. We have a Days Up 4. And we get a Taurus Helm for finishing off in the Conus Fields. That feels good. Well, now I'm not going to be so crazy about item ones. And it's a normal enemy that's actually threatening. Is there any way around this guy? Yes! Even normal enemies that are threatening, you can avoid by just going down on the side. Uh, 
I mean, he's just basically a duplicate of the unique monster of Commander Oration, who we fought a lot earlier. He's basically just a weaker version of him. This guy is just a weaker version of him. Same level, just not a unique monster. No point in really dropping down, I think. Oh, by the way, there is an electric deposit over there. I don't care that much. We're just going to keep going. And we have Amorous Orca. I will fight him later. But we're at the bulkhead controls. Yay. It's another one of those M91 dogmas. I'm just going to avoid you. And down here we have the third floor main power switch, which I'm going to pass. I think. Oh, never mind. I'm going to hit it first. We'll get back to Amorous Arca later this video. Probably that's how we'll end the video. And we needed all that just to send something up there to turn that green. And that also turned this green. So let's turn, let's hit that. And we bring up a cylinder from below. Yay! More paths. I mean, that's really the goal, isn't it? Just to open up as many paths as possible. And how to get down the cylinder, how to shortcut your way down the cylinders. Jump, fall down, land on the ledges. I don't really care about damage because these guys are normal enemies. Why would I even need to dodge them? Well, I mean, if you're going to give me an item orb for not fighting enemies, if I could get down there, thank you. I mean, really, you choose between enemies and the collectible. I think I would much rather have the collectible. Even if it's not the most important thing, it's still a collectible. Oh wait, I think this should be the last... I think we're coming up on another piece of memory, a 925 piece, and this should be the last one unless I missed one somewhere, which is entirely possible. In which case, I'll have to look for it again. There shouldn't be anything over here. Maybe. Like, there shouldn't be any unique monster or anything here. I should be totally fine. And now, directly above the elevator... The Ether Gear store. These Mechon are so underleveled. Or rather, I'm so overleveled that the Mechon don't attack me. And I did miss one somewhere. I will find that memory on 925 piece later. And there is a fire and an electric deposit. Oh no, this is Earth. Never mind. Fire and Earth. Rank 4, so not bad. Yeah. I should try to find that. Oh, I think it's on the second floor. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's... I think I missed the one on the second floor. There's one on each floor, from GF to 3F. As you can see, there are more floors. That's the one on... We got the one on the third floor. There are no landmarks on the second floor. How nice. It's the closest place to the first... to there. I guess the 1F power switch? I got the one on this floor, right? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I remember getting that one. I know I got the one on the ground floor, so it was the one on the second floor that I missed. 
Now, which elevator takes you to the second floor? That's the question. No. Would it be that? It's this one up here, right? Oh no, it's not an elevator, never mind. It's the cylinder thing. I'm sorry, I'm totally lost. But I don't. Uh, I'm missing something on the second floor is always annoying. Because there's no skip travel point on that floor. Why is there no skip travel point on an entire level of an area? So time to run up the cylinder. I think skip traveling back to the bulkhead controls would be fat would have been fat. Or the bulkhead thing would have been faster. But don't worry, I promise one this with the unique monster. Which of course we have to get more art books from. I've already forgotten the art books because the observation powers. No, I don't feel comfortable running along these small platforms. Let's see. I just have to watch the mini-map for a red exclamation point. It should be on this floor. Either that or I'm thinking of something else and it's on the fourth floor. In which case, I am sorry. There's like nothing on the fifth floor, by the way. So it's definitely not up there, all the way up there. But I'm pretty sure it's on this floor. And we've already explored this floor fully. It wouldn't be down there, down there where Destroyer Salvation is. Maybe it's just not on this floor and I'm wasting your time. Not over there, I would see it. I am just wasting your time, lovely. I'm sorry, I just wasted your time. I'll find that sometime, at some point. Let's go to the third floor power switch, which takes us to the switch. So we have to get back up to the upper side of it, which is where Amorous Arca is. So let's take on Amorous Arca, shall we? I think we shall. First, get the party gauge up. Rather important. Yes, got a confuse off already. The other enemies aren't getting involved, so I'm going to try not to get them involved. By not using Lurgy or the other one. Well, Lurgy's okay here. We all get the affinity coin. And this guy is almost story required because you do have to press this switch. Oops, sorry. Press this switch, which I will do in this video just so we can get this done. And we get to watch the giant door open. And I will farm for the art books in between videos in case you're wondering. And just meet you back with the art books. And that's all we did. We opened that. And now we can go outside. Ooh, actually the outside of this area is so, so much more interesting than what we're doing. I really like the outside part of this area. It's not very long, but it's cool. But we'll have to save that for next time. After, quickly, 
I checked this chest to see if I got anything that I think I might need. No, I didn't. Let's reload. And, yeah, I'll fight him again if he appears. If not, I won't. Well, let's try this one more time. See if I can't get an art book. Any art book would be fine, really. I'll check and do the farming off screen. Just to save you, like, the majority of the farming. Oh well. I'm actually not sure if bar deciding to farm for all these art books was a good idea, but I guess it's useful just to show you where you want to get which art books. And Amor's Arca has been respawned, and I don't feel like fighting in this video again, so... I'll see you next time when we finish up, when we continue through Makona's Field. Not finishing up yet. Nowhere near close. We still have two more unique monsters to cover, I think. See you then.